just just for the beginning. Um, this is me, and this picture is nearly uh, eight years ago. Because no, seven. My my son is uh, is getting seven uh, eight this year, and um, this was his first birthday, and this was. With less beard, I think, <laughs> because it's seven years ago. My name is Maximilian Beckhoff. Um, my Twitter handle, or my handle all over the world, is uh, Electric Max. It comes a little bit from uh, from my music favor. And you see, uh, GitHub is the same. Um, when I'm not doing those stuff, uh, I'm working for uh, for some symphony components, and I'm creating. Uh, I'm a maintainer for for. A symphony library to create um, CMS applications or uh, to build CMS applications from 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 blocks, and it's called Symphony CMF. Um, my email address, if you've got more questions or questions that are longer than uh, 180, no, we are 280 signs. And there you can see I'm working for Mayflower. It's a company with uh, three bases in Germany. I work in Würzburg. We also are. Uh, located here in Berlin and in Munich. So, let's start a little bit. Uh, I promised uh, I would create a chatbot in, in, in PHP. Uh, I know that there are chatbots in PHP, but uh, before starting with it, we should uh, mention the question, why doing it in PHP? Because PHP is really limited in, in lots of situations. We, we uh, running it asynchronously isn't that that easy, but it's a PHP conference, and <laughs> I work with PHP for more than, uh, oh, uh, for nearly 20 years now, I think. So <laughs> the spirit is older than you think. <laughs> and yeah, and why not uh, trying it in, in, in the tool we, um, <coughs> we, we have in, uh, in front of us uh, every day. I need some water in between to, uh, uh, yeah. So, when uh, having a look at, at, at Google, and it's, it was my first, uh, first approach uh, after, after getting this talk accepted, I, I have found a lot of uh, um, the chatbots in PHP. There are, there are lots of examples, lots of examples which, which are going through different uh, uh, APIs which are connected to Facebook, which are connected to uh, uh, all kind of, of uh, all kind of chat uh, systems. But what what uh, 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 single one was missing? One with a separate or with a with a single uh, NLU or NLP integration. And this is was the reason I, I proposed this talk. And because, uh, <laughs> as I said before, I. I created one in, in PHP for just for uh, some experiments, but it works or it worked. <laughs> so I hope it will work later also. And yeah, but uh, one of these examples, which I found really interesting, was was the the botman from it's it's uh, Laravel. Uh, uh, it's written in Laravel, and uh, <laughs> as a simple guy, I'm not very familiar with Laravel. But uh, I set it up, it, it works, and we can have a look at it because it brings up the, the, uh, the basic features we, we're needing. So it brings up some kind of middleware architecture to, 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 to start a conversation, to hear on messages or something else. So we can have a look at it. And the installation is, is quite easy because uh, you only have to... Um, Install some some paths and the rest is done by Composer, and you get something like oh where's my code? My code is here. So no, I don't want to share the code. I want to share the the. Uh, I want to share the result. As a result, you get a simple, uh, this is just a demonstration, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an input field, and there I can type in some things, like hi, and I get an, an answer. This answer is, isn't really intelligent, it's, it's just, uh, just uh, 
uh, based on code, just just uh, just a comparison on, on on strings. So this is the reason I want to. Where's my code? There's the code. Uh, I would wish to have uh, some kind of uh, mirrored screen. It's, do I see here the same like I have there? Oh, it's cool. It's just a little bit small, but uh, it will work. <laughs> so, isn't the right code? Uh, this one. This one. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Because, or, or I go to into white mode because my my ID is white. So this isn't really. Uh, I can switch and give it you back to uh, presentation mode. No, I think we have to switch off the lights because I can't do it at the moment. Uh, Come on. Appearance. It's really hard to make a IDE, high contrast. And oh, this is what I wanted. Uh, I think the IntelliJ one, yeah. This one should work, except the, except the console. And you see it here, and I hopefully see it there. Uh, and, ah, I do it here. The code is quite, we have got, just this. It's just a, a, um, a object oriented uh, uh, or pre version to to match the answers. We can add uh, some some more uh, specific stuff. We can add uh, arguments uh, if you would like to. Uh, I will give it now. Just need something to copy here. And. But as I said, it's, it's, this is not really intelligent here at the moment. And um, so, even this one here, if I paste something oops, like this one, I can get arguments inside of it, or if I'd like to do, I will paste both. Uh, we can do regular expressions, which are now, a little bit more than just uh, comparing strings. So, and if we go back to our application, remove that back. And I say, call me Max. Oops. I, I get the answer because it's, it's just it's just a match on, on on the strings and the arguments were recognized, and uh, we we can do uh, we can do um, yeah some some string stuff and this uh, this spot framework I would call it so also has uh, the possibility to start a conversation and to 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 follow a conversation. And this one can be done by start conversation. And oh, it can be very complicated because the last joke I tried was, wasn't really, it was too dirty, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check no, it's okay. <laughs> so it's, it's a. It's it's a kind of a conversation. You you prepare buttons. Uh, most of the, um, the the chat systems you are connected to will will uh, do their their own representation from it, and um, yeah. Oh, 
It's getting dark. <laughs> so I hope we will get some light because uh, I. Oh, it's good that I see it here. I just looking for my. So uh, what I what I'm needing here is uh, basically a topic for tomorrow, but but uh, the the talks are. Uh, 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 orientated in, in the wrong direction because I, I want to uh, explain a little bit about what NLU is because this is a point where we where we uh, where we try to get some intelligence into the uh, into the recognition because at the moment it's it's just string comparisons or just uh, stupid uh, stupid checks here so uh, why my image are loading here uh, and I hope it will work later. We will go into some basics uh, from the talk to tomorrow, so you don't have to wake up this uh, this early. Because uh, having it not isn't that cool. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, ich kann nicht schreiben. So, just to skip this one, is just a. Um, and the use is, is it's quite similar to MLP, but it's it's not the same. It's just the the understanding of the language, the understanding of uh, of a sentence. If if, if I say something, uh, uh, making sentences is very human, and, and to understand them. It's, it's mostly a human feature too, and some humans, uh, me, me included, <laughs> aren't that good in, uh, in understanding sentences or in understanding underlying meanings. Because this simple sentence, uh, I have to stay at home until Friday, says a lot. Uh, uh, there are a lot of different meanings. Um, uh, the context is, is, is really important to, <coughs> to understand different meanings here. And what we use here is to is some kind of machine learning. And uh, one one basic thing is uh, of this NLU is to to uh, to uh, to get the intent. And the intent is is uh, is the what what is what is what is meant by the sentence. So, and this is something we can train a, a, a model, and we can. Um, um, we can, uh, we can, <coughs> yeah. So, another thing is, is, is a kind of an entity because uh, I've had this sentence here. If I try to train a bot which makes uh, illness reports, uh, it's what my first example. I uh, want to uh, um, make my HR uh, section happy and I want to make illness reports in chats. So, Somebody says, hey, I'm ill until Friday, and the bot comes in and creates a Jira ticket from it. Uh, <coughs> because our illness reports are created through <laughs> Jira tickets, so it would be quite easy. So our entity here is, uh, is Friday, because this is, is the, uh, it's a kind of a match, or it's a, it's, it's a kind uh, 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 of a thing I can measure. And... Uh, <coughs> this, 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 this word Friday here is some kind of an end date. If I, if I make this, uh, this sentence today, the, sh uh, the chat will, uh, the bot have to recognize a start date, mostly it's, to it's today when I write the sentence, and uh, uh, an end date, so it's, it's Friday. So this, this is uh, the entity <coughs> as, an, uh, as a base feature. So we have got the intent, we have got the entity, and we have got some, um, um, yeah, <laughs> here's the sentence uh, broken into, into its pieces. Again, uh, we, we have got the intent, uh, somebody wants to report its illness, its work, and we have the entity, it's uh, called end date, so it's Friday. And the, the thing machine learning or intelligence can, can do here for us is 
not to do it on, on, on string matches we have had here before. Where we, we train only only this kind of sentence and the the <laughs> the model should uh, recognize every other day also. So I, I shouldn't have to train him all, all seven days. To, uh, then, this, uh, then it is uh, a string uh, match <laughs> again. So uh, the difference to NLP is um, um, it is it's more uh, it's it's more it's, it's a subset of 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 uh, NLP is just a subset and just uh, um uh, uh, does the the the, <coughs> the recognition of, of of the intent and of the ent entity the, the natural language processing included uh, more like uh, uh you can make uh, dry, uh, uh, dialogue flows and uh, something more so let's see here use cases uh, yeah, the chatbot we try to implement here at the moment uh, interface for machines, intent analysis. Uh, what, what I meant with intent analysis is um, um, when somebody maybe does a product uh, review or does uh, uh, give some note about a product, it would be quite cool to, to recognize um, which maybe it's, it was a bad a bad notice uh, about the product. And it would be quite cool to, to recognize what would be the right one for him, to, 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 to give him some, some recommendations uh, what to buy next time. And this would, would be an, a nice feature to do for, uh, for, for recognizing the, the intent. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter here. That, uh, yeah. it's, it's just uh, it's the same here. We, we, we can uh, bind, uh, bind our, our chatbot uh, into uh, the, the common uh, uh, interfaces. We can bind it to, to integrations for Alexa, for Siri, for Google, and to, to let them do our, 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 our work and the things I try to load here. But uh, I've got a little problem with data privacy here because um, if, I, if especially... My example with the, with the HR section is, is, re is, really, uh, is really tightly coupled to, to private data. And I, I wouldn't uh, put this data into some Google API to, uh, to interact or just uh, to give them the data. Uh, so this is the reason why I started doing it myself. And uh, here is the um, for that uh, I'm using Rasa. Rasa is a, is, a, is a free Python tool uh, which uh, really uh, runs really good with uh, with uh, with NLU. They have got a, a, a complete framework to 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 train models, to to pass models, to to even have a kind of an online training uh, to to make it. Interactive uh, to make the training interactive. It's it's just a, a Docker container at the moment for me, or it's it's some kind of code you you can um, extract or you can uh, append to, and it's free. It's it's on your on your own machine. Uh, I, I, insta I currently install it as <coughs> as a uh, simple Docker container. You just need uh, the the performance to train your models, but for most use cases, if you have got an uh, enclosed or uh, 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 an, uh, a model that isn't that big, it, it's it's good enough. You you haven't you shouldn't have to talk to to Google or something else. You can do it at, on your own. I think we have some examples here. This is just the the installation and. Yeah, it's written in Python, and Python isn't isn't the topic of the conference. <laughs> so, uh, so I wrote an uh, implementation for PHP, and this implementation is, uh, yeah, behind the scenes, it's, it's just an uh, just an object representation for the API I get from 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 these uh, from from Rasa, 
because uh, starting this uh, this application uh, gives me uh, a Python server with with an API, and I can talk uh, with this API, and so um, I created it and. As I said <laughs> at the beginning, I'm normally a, a symphony evangelist, and so I created some, some symphony commands here. And here you can see what you can normally do when, when it works. <laughs> and you can train models. Uh, we, we can have a look at our models uh, later. We can get the status. Uh, then you get uh, some information about your models, how, how many trains they had, and uh, you can remove models, and the most important thing, and this is the thing we, we, we want to use for our chatbot, is uh, uh, the, the path interface. That means uh, just to, to, to pass a string and get its intents. And now that is over. <laughs> so uh, now I just wait for the last layers of the image. We have got. Because of I used this, where is it? Oh, it's here. Mm. We can have this is not the right one. This is ours, and it is what uh, inside of one my uh, my one of my repositories in uh, for the slides. I will add it to the slides later. And here we, we have got the, the representation for, 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 the, for the API. And this is just some models to, 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 to get the data and just some services to, yeah, to encapsulate the, uh, the, the communication. At the end, it's, it's just a, single, a simple curl request with, with uh, some JSON data. And um, so, and I hope... I will get some answers now because my container is up. It works. The container works. I will look before I show it to you. So, <laughs> status is good. Uh, Uh, where's it gone? Here you can see some things are working at the moment, but uh, the, the major part isn't really working because I don't get the uh, the training data in. And what you can see here is the same picture as before. This are the uh, the endpoints. What what is working is the status endpoint to get. Oh, I've got a model inside. Ah. Now we can try it. <laughs> um, where does it come from? So just the, I've had an error before, uh, but the error is just uh, output be, uh, afterwards. Uh, as you can see here, we have got, uh, we have got one model trained here. This is this one. And this is the model we, we try to, we try to ask a, a question. And this is, this question we try to implement then in, in our, uh, in our chatbot, I just need to know what text is set and project is set. Project, project is illness, and my text is I Friday. Ah. Yeah, the thing that doesn't work at the moment because I destroyed it tonight. And normally you, you get uh, some some kind of uh, answer. The only thing I can look now is um, to get. No. Nope. Uh, must be of text string. So. Mm. 
<laughs> so the only thing we can do at the moment is uh, to look at our training data to give you just a, um, a, a feeling for for what you have to do or for what you have not to do. This is not the right one. So. Here is the data for the illness report. Uh, this is the thing you can uh, you, you put into. There are different formats to to feed your uh, your your model or to train your model, and the sentences are quite like uh, like templates. And uh, in those templates, you, you say what 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 is the entity? What uh, do you want? How do you want to call it? Here is is called last day, and one of this example is Friday, and it's uh, the same for the first day. And you can give him some 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 enumeration or some collection of of uh, possible uh, <coughs> uh, of possible uh, values. Mm. And that's it. It's just uh, just some kind of configuration. And what also is doable with, with Rasa is to, to do some dialogues because uh, you can do um, um, real conversations and you can uh, make conversation path, maybe beginning with, an, beginning with a greeting, begin, uh, with, with a question and having uh, some decisions, uh, how is the question answered, and then ending it maybe with a goodbye or something else. And this one you can also configure inside those... Um, <laughs> inside uh, that kind of configuration, and uh, what what is also included is some kind of uh, transformation for the data because this is a thing uh, I I I won't do on my own because uh, when I see there are a lot of representations, especially for time or for dates, to 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 in a conversation, so. There are, there are some kind of, of models or some kind of um, things uh, I add here. I would add there. Is it here? No. I have it here? No. Here. These are uh, some, 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 some little helpers which uh, transform my, my, my entities into values I could work with. To having Friday as a real uh, Unicode date string at the end in my entity property is quite useful because I don't do it or I don't have to do it on my own. And this is the thing I, I, I get there. And yeah. Now it, it just, <laughs> just to show you what, what doesn't work and what should work uh, is, where's my thing? The console is gone. So, yeah. At the end, what what I try to do and what I will finish and I will add to the slides tonight, I think, is uh, not not think. I promise. Is is just the example for for the conversation at the end because what 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 I miss is calling this this uh, this API to pass a string and to answer it in my in my chatbot here. It's the same conversation we we have here. Uh, I just want to, to, to make the conversation to my, my, my Raza running. You, you've seen that the model is there. Uh, most of it is working, but uh, one, one of the questions doesn't work at the moment. So um, I will edit uh, tonight into the slides so we can see the, the examples uh, working. And I will uh, push the examples then also to, to a GitHub repository so you can try it on on your own the, the major thing is writing a chatbot is you can do it uh, you can do it on your own and you should do it on your own you shouldn't uh, work with with uh, services like like google especially when you have got uh, data issues or data privacy issues uh, you can write really really easy chatbots just by some string comparisons or by some regexes uh, I think uh, most customers won't really recognize this. 
or if you have got uh, complicated questions, you can run your own uh, uh, NLU model uh, uh, just inside a container or uh, inside an, uh, a tiny application, and you can train it for the data you like to have in there. And it's, it's, it's quite easy. You've, you've seen the data was, it's, it's just a small model at the moment, but, but it really works uh, to, to train it for, for such a conversation, for such an intent, for such small things. And for those small things, you, you don't have to interact with uh, uh, data eating uh, services in the internet. So, uh, yeah. this is this. Yeah. So, I think uh, I, I left you with more questions than before. I, this isn't really good, but uh, I will answer the questions uh, afterwards in uh, in kind of uh, the promised code and the working example. And uh, are there other questions before that? Except my uh, confuseness. Just one hide. If you like to, if you want to get up early morning, uh, tomorrow morning, just to see the slides, uh, you, shouldn't do, uh, you shouldn't have to because most of them I explained it at the moment, uh, just now, because tomorrow I, I will only go into explaining uh, what NLU is and uh, that conversation with, uh, with, without a chatbot. So just uh, for you not to get up that early because I think the talk was moved to 8.30 or 9.30, which is almost the same. <laughs> is there other questions? You, you will find the, um, me here at the conference. At, we have an information desk uh, in the exhibition hall. Um, you can find me on Twitter uh, and can write me an email. And uh, I will do another talk tomorrow about some climate problems or our responsibility in, in the climate uh, crisis. And this is one of the reasons why I'm that confused, uh, not r really good prepared because this is next to my job, the ma main thing I'm currently doing. I'm currently uh, working for, for, the, for the climate movement f uh, to support the Fridays for Future and other organizations around it. So tomorrow, this one, this talk tomorrow is really is prepared better, and it's, uh, uh, it, it, it will be reviewed by some scientists today. <laughs> so I hope I can, we'll see you tomorrow. I don't shock you that much today. Um, and sorry that the examiner doesn't work at the moment. It will. Thank you. <laughs>